we have partnered, your government has partnered with the World Bank, whereby we are going to implement about 800 million worth of projects. We are talking of uh, uh, when you go to these areas, and you know the Kumenyesha, flooding and the like, you can't even walk. We are going to have the first tarmacs in the informal settlements. Talk of Umoja, Kiangombe, we have done all this, uh, all the preliminary through the directorship of Mololo, and we know we are going to implement all this. We have seen the transformation of our bus park. Makongen, uh, the place is transforming, and all this is, has been done through uh, His Excellency Omatangi's government to actualize the thicker smart city. The bus park, the modern bus park in Makongen is awesome with modern stall. They are very nice and super. Uh, uh, as, as, as per the, the criteria, we also supposed to have like uh, uh, an airstrip or an, uh, on an airport. Because of connectivity, it's very easy for you to transverse from Thika to the JKIA. We have ceded land at uh, Del Monte to do an airstrip. Just the other day, His Excellency the Governor commissioned Mamangina Recreational Park. So these are the, some of the facilities that you must have before commissioning of, uh, of a municipality to, 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 to city status. We actualize uh, the Thika smart city becoming uh, a smart city. We will we are anticipating to see uh, quite a number of uh, developments that will come uh, with the city status. Uh, we are looking at, uh, at uh, a number of investors coming to invest in our EPZ uh, zone uh, that we zoned out. Uh, we are also expecting a lot of job creations for the youth and for women. We are expecting uh, a lot of improvements in terms of infrastructure in, in Thika. Uh, and infrastructure, we are talking about roads, improvement of roads, improvement of lighting, uh, improvement of walkways, even for those who are not using uh, motor vehicles, even for our cyclists and motor uh, and, and, uh, and uh, the, the, the border border. Uh, uh, cyclists. Uh, so we are we are anticipating a lot of developments, a lot of investments, and uh, once uh, Thika municipality uh, gets into the Thika smart city status. That uh, there are so many things that uh, we may or we are going to benefit from when uh, Thika becomes a city. Number one uh, is the conditional grant that uh, uh, that uh, is uh, uh, that is given to uh, an area that has become a city. We have about Kenya shillings, uh, one billion, uh, uh, almost uh, something close to that, uh, that will come towards development and service de delivery uh, in uh, a new city. Now, uh, today being the first day that we've uh, inaugurated the committee, uh, we're hoping that in the next six months uh, the committee will have uh, uh, done its work and uh, given the report uh, to, the, uh, to His Excellency the Governor, uh, Dr. Kimano Matangi, who will then uh, forward uh, the uh, recommendation to uh, the Senate and therefore and eventually to the President who is going to confer uh, the municipality a city uh, charter, which of course once we get that one it means that then uh, we become a city. Uh, I'll be I'll be very proud to be uh, to get into history uh, as the first city manager of Thika. Uh, reasons are being uh, being the municipality I mean the municipal manager who is now overseeing uh, development of uh, uh, all this development alongside my bosses, uh, chief officer and uh, 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 CCM uh, for uh, for urban development. We are in the uh, family in the steering wheel to make sure that uh, uh, governor's vision of having a city within Kiambu, that is the uh, smart city, uh, is a reality.